Hey, it's Tim Guitar. Today, I'm gonna to talk about potentiometers and how they are used in a guitar, what they're used for, and the two main types that you'll see out there. There's audio tapered and there's linear tapered. In addition to talking about the two different types of potentiometers, I'm gonna use the multimeter to show you how to read the output on a potentiometer if you don't know what it is. And then I'll show you how to tell using the multimeter if it's an audio taper or if it's a linear tapered pot. Let's get right into it. Potentiometers are what controls your volume and your tone and how much of it goes through the output of the guitar and into the amp. So it changes things like the tone of the guitar and what you're hearing. It also changes the volume. And these are commonly known as volume and tone knobs or volume and tone pots or volume and tone potentiometers. Depending on the output of the potentiometer, you would set it to either 2000K, 200K, or 20K. In our case, we know that these are 500K pots, so we're gonna turn this to the 2000K setting. And we'll take our two prongs. The two prongs will go into the first two lugs on the potentiometer. So I'll just put these into the holes here. And you can see on the screen that we are getting a some sort of a reading right now, uh, which is zero. And I have both of these turned to the off position. And I put the tape with the marker on it so we can uh, just see which position that the uh, the volume knob is actually in when I'm doing the test for this. So we're going to turn these all the way up now. Turn them all the way up and it's reading 448k. So let's do the next one. Okay, it's set to zero. We'll turn the volume knob all the way up. And this one reads 500 and 37. Next thing what we're going to do on the list is we're going to take a look at the difference between audio taper and linear tapered pots. You'll only be able to tell the difference here. So keep an eye on this. For this example, I'm only going to do one at a time. Just slowly increase the position. And you'll want to watch this. This is the linear pot. So as we slowly start to increase the position of the volume knob, we're getting a very even and consistent output. And it'll output that consistent number and increase as a consistent number until we get all the way to the full position of the knob. An audio taper potentiometer. Again, I'll slowly rotate the knob. And you can see that this one will start to react much slower. Much slower until it gets to around 100K on the output. And you can see right now, we're roughly halfway up the knob, but we're only at about 86 on the output. So now that we're at 100, you're gonna see a much greater increase on the output until we get all the way to the end position. And this one being roughly 540K. We'll compare the difference between the two, and put both up on the screen, and you'll be able to see the difference in the output <clears throat> of both potentiometers. Well, I hope that explanation helps you understand potentiometers a little bit better. What's an audio taper versus a linear taper and uh, how they affect the output of the guitar or how they deliver the output of the guitar. Now, if you have a 500K and a 500K and they're 
always at full volume, chances are you may never really even notice the difference. But it is a small difference, and uh, one that I think you should know as you're experiencing your guitar journey through messing around and uh, goofing around with different uh, pieces to either soup up your guitar or make it sound a little bit better. Um, it's definitely something you should look at and consider when purchasing new potentiometers. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos. I'm Tim Guitar. Thank you for watching.